Bread and the peace of the Lord. Exodus. You're going to open in Exodus? Exodus 4. Verses 5, 6, and 7. Exodus 4, 5, 6, and 7. Exodus 4, 5, 6, and 7. That they may be believed that the Lord God of the fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has appeared to you. Furthermore, the Lord said to him, Now put your hand in your bosom. And he put his hand in his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hands was leprous, like snow. And he said, Put your hand in your bosom again. He put his hand in his bosom again. And he drew it out of his bosom. And behold, it was restored like his other, other flesh. Amen. <coughs> the Lord oriented that this month we would pray for the ministry. Because, because the Lord knows the importance that as a as as a needed as a pastor, we see here that the beginning, the be, the beginning of the ministry of Moses, the Lord, the Lord instructed Moses how how he would act. How he, should, how he should act. Moses never left, you know, randomly. He was that man. He, he, he was always that man that would seek the direction of the Lord. If he, if he thought he was not capable, Moses always thought he was not capable. Jesus, when Jesus told him he was going to go before the Pharaoh, he said, he said, I don't even know how to speak. <clears throat> Moses didn't think he was capable. But you're going to say that the Lord sent you. <clears throat> My brethren, the ministry need to be under the direction of the Lord. That's why in the New Testament, the Lord starts the church. The, do the Lord reveals that he start to pass it down to his servant, to the primitive church, how it should, how should the pastor action be? How would, how should the pastor's action would be in the name of the Lord? How to conduct a sheep? How to conduct the people? <coughs> that would be the mouth of the Lord. We can say it like that. And the ministry needs needs the direction of the Lord. Right in the beginning, the Lord showed that that following the ministry, there was there was the spiritual gifts. <coughs> the pastor, <coughs> the pastor does not does not work in the ministry with the spiritual. Gift. The pastor that isolates his, himself, the pastor that doesn't seek for the direction of uh, the Lord, he fails a lot. He will fail. That's why Lord gave us, gave us all the weapons, all the toolings. The same way He capacitated Moses, the same way He instructed Moses, giving him, giving him the everything that the that the people needed to reach to reach the to reach the, the desire of the Lord. The, the Lord has given us this tool. And a lot of this tool 
are the gifts, you know, the spiritual gifts. Who knows how the, who, who can tell what the gifts are, spiritual gifts? <coughs> Faith, obedience, wisdom, <coughs> prophecy. <coughs> Even the children know how to sing that, the song. And how many are the ministry? How many ministries do we have? How many characteristics of ministry will we find in the man? Five. Which one? Apost apostles, prophet, a, a pastor. <clears throat> Each one of it has its own way to be. The perfect ministry was only from Jesus. The, the only perfect ministry that we, that we can have as a baseline was from Jesus. <coughs> Because Jesus always, always followed this, the direction of the Spirit. He never did what he wanted to do. Even being God, even being the Son of God, incarnated, but Jesus... He never did what was on his mind since the beginning, since the beginning, since the moment that he was born, since the moment, all the ministry of Jesus, the entire ministry of Jesus was prophecy. And it was inside the plan of God, the meetings of Jesus, where he passed past. <coughs> And we see that, we see that Moses, Beginning, beginning, beginning his ministry, and the Lord speaks to Moses. So you're gonna take, you're gonna take your, you're gonna take your hand, put it inside your hand, put it in, next to your chest. Moses went and put his hands inside, and Jesus said, "Take your hands off," and his hand was leprous. When, when he, Moses put it in the hand, was perfect. When he came back, the hand was leprous. Moses was scared. Lord, what is this? Come. Easy, Moses. Put your hands again. And then Moses obeyed, put his leprous hand and put it in his chest. Take your hands off, Moses. Moses took his hands off. And the hand was perfect. <coughs> the leprous speaks of what? The sin. The, the mistake, the lepros, what does leper does with the skin? It, it takes all the senses, sensibility. The, the sin does that too, even among us. The, the man doesn't feel, but it doesn't feel it. When you lepros, you can cut your hands off, but you don't feel it. The lepros take all that sensibility from your, from your skin. The man does not feel it. <coughs> <coughs> you can kick, you can kick the table, you can lose your finger, your toe, you're not going to feel it. The lepros has to be treated. <laughs> Today, there are many treatments for people. <coughs> the people, sometimes, they can avoid becoming the, the worst, the worst level of it. But back then, the lepros, and that, and that day was a terrible, the terrible disease. People have to be taken off the city. They couldn't be in contact with anybody, even family. Only the sacerdotes could go there, see them, the situation of those people. <coughs> the sin does that, the disobedience does that. But now, why, why did Jesus tell Moses to put his hand in his chest? Because the ministry, when, uh, when it's taken for the feeling, for the human feeling, the heart speaks of the feeling it speaks of love the heart is a symbol of love <coughs> you know the children put put in the tree put the heart you know they put the name of people there. the heart is best the heart is the feeling the heart is connected to feeling the, so the pastor when when the pastor takes over the ministry For the sentimental things, he makes a mistake. He's going to fail. <coughs> the pastor cannot act according to what he sees. 
pastor não pode agir dentro daquilo que as pessoas que comentam act. com ele. Ele não pode ser levado. Ele não pode ser levado por aquilo que as pessoas dizem, por aquilo que as pessoas dizem, por aquilo que o homem diz. O pastor tem que agir de acordo com a vontade de Deus. Ele tem que agir de acordo com a vontade de Deus. O que Samuel fez? Fale com Jesus. Que o seu servo vai ouvir. Nós vamos ver isso dentro de algumas pessoas. And we're going to see this inside of a, <coughs> some examples, but biblical examples. And when we speak about ministry, we can't simply charge, connect this, and put this only in the pastor. This is among the church. This has to be over the church. We are all preachers of the, of the Holy Spirit. We are all messengers of Christ. And in this mission, and in this, in this call, from, and as, as a church, as us as a brethren, we have to act this way. <coughs> Nobody can take his life based on, on feelings. If we look at this, if we, look, if we put this in practice in our lives, If we do this, if we practice, we will see how our church will be better. Samuel, when he was raised by Lord, the first thing, first thing he said was, "Speak to me, Lord, that I hear. I want to hear your voice." And Samuel was a prophet. It was a man, very used by God. The Lord used him a lot. He was dedicated to the Lord. He brought to us, and he he brings beautiful teaching. When he speaks with Jezreel, he says, you're going to Jezreel's house, you're going to ung with one of the servants. <coughs> you're going to anoint, you're going to anoint one of the servants. He went, he went over there <coughs> with the oil. Jezreel, the Lord sent me here because the Lord has here in your house that your children will be the king of Israel. But Samuel, Lord said to Samuel, you're going to go over there, you're going to unguent, unguent who I show you. Lord didn't let Moses, uh, I mean Samuel, choose. The Lord was very clear, you're going to get unguent whoever I show you. Samuel got there at Jesus house very fast. <clears throat> How many children did Jesse have? Who remembers? Eight children. Eight children. Imagine that. Imagine that scene with Samuel coming. Jesse, you know, Jesse takes the first kid. All of them were strong warriors. Yes, especially. All the children were prepared, they were warriors, they were instructed, they were prepared, they were taught to fight, they were taught for the war. Jesse presents him the primogenic, the first one. You know, imagine Sam, Samuel's how face. <coughs> Jam, Samuel saw that, the first kids. You know. Yes, Jesse said, Samuel said, it's not this one, Lord, it's not that one. And then brought another one, it's not this one either. It came seven children, seven children, and he said, it's not this one. You look with the human eyes, but I don't choose the servants the way the man chooses. The Lord chooses the man based on what's in his heart. <coughs> and the Lord spoke this. I found David. He spoke about David. I found David according to my heart. The David's heart was not like everybody's heart. <coughs> and now Samuel. Just say, just say. There's no more else? Is that it? 
He has done seven children. The Lord spoke to me, there's going to be one here. And Jezebel remembers the little one. Jesse remember. Jesse remember. And when, and when David come in, and they, the Lord revealed to Samuel, this is the one. <clears throat> the characteristics of David were characteristics of a spiritual servant. <coughs> David had, had smelled like a sheep. He was among the sheep. He touched it. He, he played. He was de definite. David had a heart, heart dir directed to the Lord. The characteristics of David were not characteristics of that exteriorly, exterior speaking. Nobody would consider him. Samuel never thought would be David, the servant. Samuel, Samuel looked at him. The man that would hear the voice of the Lord, the prophet used by the Lord, he failed. <coughs> he failed because, because when he saw the first one, the oldest one, he thought it was the first one. Today the service will be fast. We're going to go home. The new king is here. He made a mistake because he looked with the eyes of a man. In that moment, he did not use his heart. He's not used, he didn't hear, he didn't, he didn't wait for the voice of Jesus. Even though that Jesus says, you're going to choose, you're going to choose the one. Now I'm going to tell you, don't precipitate. And the pastor, and this work, has to have this sensibility. He has to have that feeling. He needs to wait for the Lord to show. That's why we have to be careful. That's why the Lord has taught us that the pastor, that the pastor when indicates someone to the ministry, to the unguent, to diacon, the pastor waits for the Lord to show. He doesn't choose the, the one that he likes. He doesn't want that the son. He doesn't choose the family. The one that's closest to him. He doesn't choose that that has the best message. He doesn't choose the one that has those are qualities <clears throat> that are analyzed by the pastor. But the pastor, but the pastor comes the direction of the Lord. While this doesn't happen, you can, you know, the pastor cannot, can choose anybody that's if that's the not, if that's not, if that, if that's not the choose of the Lord, you, 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 you finish the faith of that. <clears throat> Brother, let's pray. Let's pray for this, for that. The, the church knows that they have to, they have to raise some. The, the, the church knows that they have this call to pray. To raise, to raise workers, the workers. It has to be workers chosen by the Lord. And that's why Samuel saw the first one. He was all happy. We can't, we can't demonstrate that. The pastor has to be that. Be careful. Because you can put certain, certain. How can we say? Some expectations on a worker. <coughs> That's not going to be. It's not going. It's not going to be a pastor. It's not going to be a servant. Not everyone are called to be the minister, to have the ministry. Not all of them. But when the Lord shows, or when the Lord calls, when the Lord raises the ministry, the pastors, then the Lord confirms. <coughs> The word exercised what was in the word because that was the word of the Lord. And that's why our ministry, our pastors, our deacons, our ingrain needs to be connected to the presbytery. The church needs to be connected to the presbytery because the isolated pastor fails easily. An isolated pastor can make can take all the church to a mistake, to fail. And that's why the unguent of our 
in the mongers comes from the Lord. The choice, the, the choice of the Lord comes from the Lord. David. Samuel was sent by Lord. The Lord knew it was David, but Samuel was sent there. That's why the rays of working has to be has to be taken to the group of brethren, the group of pastors, the presbytery, to be approved. It's very dangerous. A lot of people there are being raised pastors. <coughs> Some pastor does a course here, does a course there. It's okay. But the knowledge of the word, he needs to know, understand first the word, understand the word of the Lord, but he has to be under the presbytery. That's why in, our, in the Florida, we have, we have in Hallandale Church, Church in Pampano, Port St. Lucie, one church in Orlando, one church in Orlando, and one, in, and one church in Brandon, in Florida. Any other, any other, any other, any other thing that's not that, that's not connected, it's not connected to us. So please be careful where you go. In Boston, we have a lot of churches. We have a lot of churches. If the brethren need in the address, the name of pastors, please look for us. So that you can, so you can go in places where are not connected to our presbytery. They are not connected to us. So, the presbytery raises the workers. We consult the word. We confirm the gifts. The person that ought to nominate himself pastor is very dangerous. It's very dangerous because he's not under the presbytery. He doesn't receive the the Lord of the praise. He doesn't receive. <clears throat> he's vulnerable he's by himself he's isolated the Bible says whoever isolates himself sin and so we saw here that Samuel he waited the Lord to speak to him Samuel this is the one we can't we cannot us we we cannot when we speak when I speak of we or I speak about Pass, but it, it's for all of us, for the deacons, for the for the ladies, for the sisters, for the children. We cannot simply put this responsibility, this compromise, only on the on the pastor's shoulders. It's this this message for all the church, because the brethren, the brethren became the complement of the ministry. It's a compliment of the ministry. So when we are acting, acting, we need to hear the voice of the Lord. We cannot, we cannot put our hand, we cannot put our ministry, our function, according with our feelings. Our hand has to be on the staff. It has to be on the staff. Thank you. It has to be with, connected with, cannot be connected with the neck. It has to be with the, st with the staff. The independency of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> so, once there was a, there was a John. <coughs> John, John became, John came next to Jesus and put his head where? In the Jesus' chest. John heard Jesus' heart beating. And, and John asked the Lord, how is it going to be? <coughs> and the Lord spoke with him. Our, hear, our hearing has to be connected to the heart beating of Jesus. We can only hear what's in the Lord's heart. <coughs> We can only hear what's in the Lord's will. <coughs> we cannot hear, we cannot listen to things what people said. Pastor, someone said this and this and that. Someone did this and that. We have to, uh, you have to talk to him, Pastor. The pastor picks up the phone. Hey, 
this, 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 and that. Don't do this. Don't come this. You cannot do this. It can't be like that. <coughs> the pastor, the pastor has to listen. Let's pray. Who knows the Lord will give us a blessing. Who knows the Lord will treat this. Let's wait. Let's wait what the Lord will show. Let's wait for the direction of the Lord. And a lot of times, the Lord shows that the person that came in the, you know, that came in the information called gossip is the wrong person. He was acting with the, according to the heart because he was vengeance. It's a vengeance person. <coughs> the person did something with him before and in the first opportunity he revenged it. <coughs> Brandon, when the Lord speak, when the Lord calls Abraham, Abraham, you're going to, you're going to go, we're going to leave your family. You're going to go to a place where I'm going to show you. Our spiritual life has to be in the same situation. That form, we cannot, we cannot have any connections with the things of life. And Abraham, and Abraham took who with him? He took his nephew. He took his nephew with him. The Lord said, You're going to take it. The Lord told him he's going to take his family on, but Abraham did here and he took his nephew with him. It was, it was a lot of trial for Abraham. That's why we need to listen to the Lord, to the direction of the Lord. Because when we do like this, we don't make mistakes. When a Brandon does that, you're not going to make a mistake. You're going to have a, you're going to have a relationship with the, with the brethren in the church. We're going to have a good relationship with the family according to the will of the Lord. And this doesn't work only for the spiritual life. It works for our life and our day-to-day, -day, our relationship with the boss, our relationship with your employee, with our neighbor, <coughs> with our family. When we wait, we don't take, we don't precipitate, we don't take, we don't precipitate on the attitudes. We don't make mistakes. <coughs> the person that, you know, is impulsive, a lot of makes mistakes, and then they regret later. On a certain occasion, David was in a very, very strong trial with Saul. So, David grew up, waited for the right moment, the moment came, he waited for the moment to be ordinated. He waited for the moment to Saul persecuted a lot David. He had to leave David. David had to leave. He had to hide. <clears throat> and David was humiliated. And he passes. He was he was he was hiding himself, you know. Big beer. He was in a very trial. Saul was promised to him. And Simei saw David and told what to David. That's it. <coughs> That's wrong. He must have sinned. And yeah, he deserves this. He told that David was deserved that. The time passed. David became the king. Simei was like very, very scared. Simei, Simei, and David came and asked to Simei to come, and and David, and then the and then the soldiers told asked David, can I kill them? Can I kill Simei? And David said, no, no, wait. If if he said that in the past, the Lord must have given him the motive to leave him alone. Don't worry. David put that situation in the hands of the Lord. David put the persecution, all the things that Simei said about him, he put before the Lord, and the, the Lord treated it. David didn't need to do anything, <coughs> not even his soldiers. Let's kill this, let's, let's kill this imperial soul. He deserves to die. He spoke bad about you. No, don't do that. Live in God's hands. David acted with, with the Lord, according to the heart of the Lord. Even being the king, 
even been able to do it, but he saw if he did that, he wouldn't be doing the, the, the will of the Lord. He would be doing this, the will of the soldiers, not the Lord. That's why we need to wait. We need to wait the direction of the Lord, the servant that's vengeance, that's vengeance is not going to go anywhere. And this character is of revenge in the ministry and the, with the, among the deacons, the sisters, and among us Christians, we can't do this. Lord, take this away from us. Take all this, this feeling of revenge, of injustice, the justice. The justice doesn't belong to us. The justice belongs to the Lord. <clears throat> and a lot of times, we see a lot of friendship, relationship breaking up because the people, the person cannot forgive, they cannot forget, you know, lives with it, lives with it, you know, taking, taking, you know, you become sick. <clears throat> and the person goes to, to heaven, but you stay because you can't forget you can't forget you can't forget because that's in your heart that feeling of revenge that kills you <clears throat> it's a karma <clears throat> the first corner the first chance the first chance the person say well okay leave it up to me I'll do it Jesus Jesus when he was, was praying Judas came came to give away Jesus. He had already received a, he had received a, the, the, the money. When he saw Mary, you know, getting 300, he could have gotten all the 300. He would be, <coughs> Judas when <he> came <coughs> to meet Jesus with the shoulders. I'm going to have to kiss him. So that's a sign. That's a sign I'm going to give you. It's a kiss. So you know who he is. And Jesus comes. And what Jesus tells Jesus. What is this? Why do you, why do you come, my friend? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. What a, what a teaching. Judas came. Judas to give Jesus is to kill Jesus. I'm, my friend, why don't you tell me? I would, I would give him. It was the project of, Jesus, of the Lord. Jesus was not. It was never going to go away from the project. Uh, Peter when Peter when denies Jesus. Peter denies Jesus. <coughs> Jesus. Jesus. Jesus saved his. Jesus saved his mother-in-law. That, that's why he saved. That's that's why Peter denied because he saved his mother-in-law. Can you imagine that, Wayne? They're, they're saying it. He's, they're saying Peter denies Jesus because he saved his mother-in-law. <laughs> that's what people say. What Jesus does to Peter, he he forgave him. He forgave Peter. Pedro, Peter, do you do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? When Jesus resuscitated, he says, go over there and talk to my disciples and, 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 and Peter. I'll go over there, talk to Peter, to all the disciples, and speak with Peter. <clears throat> what kind of love is this? Look, look what teaching of ministry. What a lesson of ministry. What a lesson of Jesus as a church. He teaches us how to forgive, how to forget. He, he teaches us how to, how, to, how to live our life like a Christian, like a new life. And this work of this Holy Spirit teaches that to be, to be new creatures. <coughs> we cannot live, live up the, thing, the, love, the things of the life. We cannot live up the, the difficulties or even, or even our interests can interfere with our spiritual life, even less the ministry. There are a lot of there are a lot of offers that the Lord told Moses to do, and a lot of these offers has the blood, the shed of the blood for the 
for the occult sin. <clears throat> but there's one. There's one offer that's called the, the offer of Manjaris. What is the offer of Manjaris? There's no shed of blood. There's no victim. The Lord said, Moses, you're going to go teach the, the people. He's going to take the the sense, the oil. <clears throat> They're going to make an offer in the fire. <clears throat> like, a, like a cake. It comes from the earth. But look, Moses. It's not permitted to use not honey. <clears throat> no, you don't use it. <clears throat> oil. All of the oil, salt, and the fire. You can do it burnt, you can do it bake it, you can, you're going to bring us an offer to the Lord. The offer of Manjaris, <clears throat> it's what connected to our gratitude to the Lord, our gratitude for the things the Lord has done to us. <clears throat> the wheat, the wheat, <clears throat> the, sense, the oil speaks of the Holy Spirit. So when the servant of the Lord <coughs> there's not, there can be no other interest other than the simple the gratitude to the Lord. The ingredients have to be that simple. You cannot offer the, the Lord something, thinking about something change. <coughs> The leaven, the leaven gives us a false, the, the leaven gives us a false impression. He, you know, he inflates the, the cake. The mel doesn't, the, the, the honey accelerates the, 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 it couldn't be no level or honey. But what does it have to say for the servant of the Lord, for our lives? We cannot leave things, false things. Interest that are not true interest of a servant of the Lord. Our offer to the Lord has has to be pure. It has to be sincere. Lord, I thank you because you are everything to me. Here is my offer, my dedication to you. Here is I go to the service today because I need to hear your voice, Lord. I don't go to the service today because tomorrow morning I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have a trial I'm gonna have a meeting. I could do that as well. That's why we're here. That's why we're here to pray for you. This environment is for that. But you cannot simply come here to the house of Lord with interest, with personal interest, just for that to speak. Seek to me in the reign of the, the, the heaven and the, all the things will be given to, to you. We, we have to come here to bless, to, to receive the blessing, to hear the voice of it. <clears throat> the level and the honey in this cannot, <clears throat> cannot have. Nothing that will influence your acting with the relation to the Lord. I'm going to give you an example. Jesus, when, when he was in the ministry, Sometimes people wanted to influence Jesus. The people, the people want to manipulate Jesus. People, people wanted to use Jesus, use Jesus to, to do something. First time, <coughs> when was, when the mother of Jesus, when was in the Galilee. <coughs> The, the wine finished, the mother said in the wedding, my son, there's no more wine. The people are in difficulty. What are we going to do now with no wine? What did Jesus tell her? What did Jesus tell her? It's not my own. Can you imagine if Jesus at that moment had listened to? What did Mary, what did Mary do to do? To, to receive that <coughs> something 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 so sweet a honey that was put in there for Mary I know the couple I know these people we know why couldn't Jesus do a miracle here it wouldn't, it wouldn't cost him anything <coughs> why couldn't Jesus do something 
what Jesus tells me this. <coughs> if Jesus had done this, maybe today, idolatry would Yes. That's why pastor. That's why Brandon has to be discernment with the acting. Mary didn't say anything. <coughs> Moses cannot have leaven, cannot have honey in the offering of the grains. Nothing like this. <coughs> and that's why when Jesus acted, when he would do the things, that Jesus would say, my will is this. It cannot be changed. That's why when Abraham <coughs> and Jesus, don't take anybody else. Abraham would want to take that honey. <coughs> and further down, he had a lot of issues. And it was, and it was for the servant, it was for the You can't have this. The orientation of the Lord has to be living, has to be lived. It has to be taken seriously. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham was the same thing. Abraham was going to be the father of the nation. A father of many nations. He got older. <coughs> so Sarah. Sarah, that was, and, and Ismael was born. Ismael grew up. And then came Isaac, the son of the promise. And that was beginning the problems, difficulties. Sarah said, Abraham. It's a better thing, it's better for you to put this woman out with this children. Our children growing up together, Ismael was... There was some conflict between them two. And, uh, and Sarah said, get them away from here. No, Sarah, don't worry, you're in the flesh. This doesn't come from the Lord. This this comment of yours, live it up to me, I'm Abraham, you're in the flesh. You're looking at the mother's feeling and the Lord, and the Lord spoke to him, no, you're wrong, Abraham. Sarah is right. And Abraham went over there and put Sarah away. So a lot of times, a lot of times the person has to, has to have, understand what comes from the Lord and what doesn't come from the Lord. Okay, only... Know this when the Lord reveals. We're only going to know this when it's the will of Lord, when, when the Lord manifests. When the Lord manifests <coughs> through the spiritual gift to teach the pastor the, the way he has to take. That's why we, as a church, have to have our hearts following the heart of the Lord. We cannot have our hearts, our will, our decisions based on in our will, in our interest. If we do this, we're going to make a mistake. <coughs> it's necessary that our brothers that pray in our month in special, pray for the pastors, pray for the ministry, pray for the family. When the Lord spoke with Abraham, you're going to leave your family. We have to abandon our family and it be in the house of Lord, you're wrong. <coughs> no, there's, there, there's nothing like there's the work and then the family. Our family is a project of the Lord. We have to take care of our family. <coughs> our family need to be involved in what's the, the project of the Lord. The servant that... <coughs> I'll leave everything to leave the work of Lord. It's wrong. The project of the Lord. No, it's wrong. You have to have a balance. You have to have a balance. The father, the mom, the family. You have to pray for the... You have to seek for the Lord. Take the 
time to read the, the Bible, take time to dedicate to Him. If you don't have to, if you don't do that, if you neglect that, the Word comes and it sinks it and makes a destruction in the family. But I cannot, I cannot do the contrary. First the family, and that's it. If there's time, the things of the Lord. No, we have to have a balance. Everything has a balance. Everything that's between us, the servant of the Lord, new creatures, and the, and the Lord, there's, all, there's something in the middle that's in, in preventing you that serve the Lord. This is... <coughs> I, 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 the Lord doesn't accept it. The servant has to has to live a balanced life. Time for family. Time for the time for the church. Time for the Lord. Time for the family. <coughs> I'm not telling people to do this. The servant has to. When he's sensible to the voice of the Lord, when he's not, he's not. He's, he doesn't have a disease. He's not. He's not doing things according to his heart. He hears and he exercises the things of the Lord. He's, he's balanced. He has a balanced life. Amen. Anything else, Pastor? <clears throat> the pastor wants to speak about experience. <laughs> the influence of the ministry. <coughs> the ministry in my city when I was a diaconate, there was a person in our church. There was a person in the church that was a problematic person. That's the workers, the deacons, always I was talking about this, about this person. We gotta, we gotta do it. We gotta make a way. We have to do something. This person is not. This is only brings problem to the church. The, the, the group of intercession, you know, got together to define, to define the, the situation of that, the, the situation of the guy. Eighty percent, eighty percent was trying. Eighty percent of the group wanted to decide about this guy. And the pastor let 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 let, let the information influence him, and he had never asked an orientation from the Lord to, because the sheep is not from the pastor. The sheep is from the Lord. He had to go to the ministry. He had to ask the Lord what the Lord wanted to do with him. He needed to have a direction from the Lord for that person. But that happened. <coughs> so then, when we met in the, the section group. Everything was defined for that to take him away, to cut his neck off. And the brother had a vision. And the, the brother had a vision that would that would cut the neck of that person. And one worker. And worker. Well, today he's a pastor. Back then he was a worker. He had a vision. He had a vision. And, he, and, he's, and he came to the pastor and said. There's an angel here, Pastor. <coughs> There's an angel here, the Pastor. The angel was with a sword. <coughs> okay, so we thought that we're gonna. The, the, the angel had a sword to cut the guy's neck. So, what do you see? What do you see, son? He had a sword ready. And he said, after you cut that guy's neck, the angel's going to cut everybody else's neck here. My friend, my friend, we left over there shaking. Our legs were shaking. You know what the pastor did? This is it. The pastor said, it's done. The meeting, it's, it's complete. It's, the meeting, it's Never more we talk about that guy. After, after, um, you know, short time after that, the person, the person, you know, got married. Is still at the church serving the Lord. So, so the the Lord treats, the, the Lord treats. All, all you gotta do is wait on the Lord. The man fails, 
Sometimes the pastor fails, the workers fail, the church fails. But if we win that, if we overcome that, if we listen to the voice of the Lord, the Lord will cure everything. We are all going to the same place. Our interest is to go to the heaven, everyone. Pastor, no pastor, sister, brethren. While we're here, serving the Lord, if He comes, our goal is to go to heaven. Let's stand up. Deacon's going to pray. Dear Lord, we extend our hands. Knowing that uh, your hands are over there. To give our children, our children, our house, our dollar cents. The value of this project that we have been called. Give us the spiritual health, physical health, intelligence, academic intelligence, spiritual intelligence. Preserve our children from the dirt of the world that they can learn. But glorify the name of your Lord. What a manifest of your Lord to walk in the salvation way. Please help them to grow. Loving you. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of the Lord of Christ, the, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit be poured upon you from now and to forever. Amen. Peace be seated. <clears throat>